and these are the ingredients how i make it how i like it these are i've got potatoes fresh coriander dried coriander and onions in there and i'm going to add some green chilies and also i'm going to add uh, uh, basar this is homemade basar and uh, it's got about three tablespoon of basar and three tablespoon of uh, these chilies flakes and salt a teaspoon three teaspoons if you think your salt is a bit less these are pakori for at least nine to ten people so if you want to make less you can put a less quantity you can add how much you like the you know chilies because i like a bit spicy and also i have here basin about nine to ten tablespoons but first of all when you add the basin you mix it and see if it needs more but do not add too much because if it gets too much, the pakora doesn't come out right. They get cooked from the top, but inside they're still raw. So you uh, you cook them in a low flame. So I'm going to add the chili and chili flakes and salt. There, and green chilies. Guys, green chilies, uh, when they get cooked in oil, they're not very hot, they're not very fiery. I'm going to add the basin. And then, um, guys, I'm going to mix the masala. The pakora and if you want to add water you can but make sure you got to mix it first see the consistency of the basin if you need more you add a bit more don't add too much at once otherwise it'll go too much it won't cook properly add a bit more basin i'm going i'll add three more tablespoons because i've got a bit more masala and i'm going to add a bit of water not too much I'm going to cook the pakora straight away. I don't want to leave them sour because the potatoes and the onions release water too much. So I'm going to mix it and then start cooking. Guys, I'm going to make some pakora now. My uh, oil is hot. This is how it should be. As you mix it up and just make it straight away after five, 10 minutes, if you want to. This is how thin it should be. You can add, make them smaller, not too big, because they don't get cooked properly then. Put it on a low flame, and then once it's cooked, I'm going to add it into the curry. They're done. I'm going to show you how they are cooked. But as you can see, this is how they should be. And from inside, this is how they're meant to be. And they're cooked. So when you put them in a, when the, your oil is hot, just put them on a low flame and then add your masala, gore masala in there. And put them in, uh, put small, not too big. And I'm gonna add them into the curry. My curry is hot. Um, if you put them in a pot, as hot pagoda uh, than hot curry, they do suck all the curry up. But I'm only going to add a few in there yet. I'm going to add them later on when the curry is cooled down. Okay, this is how. Just a few to show you. They look nice, don't they? I'm going to add the rest of them later. Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to make curry. Right, the, I've got about four to five to six spoons of uh, oil. And I'm going to add onion first. Let's put on... Yes. I'm going to add onion. Then, uh, you see, I'm not going to make my onion brown. Yeah, I'm not going to make them brown at all. I'm just going to leave them like this and I'm going to add tomatoes in there. It's a very quick process. And let the tomato get dissolved. And then I'm going to add my chili. And the rest of the ingredients. These are bizarre. I have I'm using the homemade bizarre. I've got four tablespoons of bizarre and I've got three teaspoons of salt because I'm going to make about five, uh, seven to eight people worth of curry. So this is how much I will be needing. And this is the lassi that I'm going to use for my curry. And the yogurt that I use, this is the yogurt that I use. And I find the curry is very tasty with this yogurt. And if you've got something different, you can use it. But I find the curry comes out very nice with this. I uh, stir it 
Um, this has one bucket of yogurt, that whole, it's a one kg one. So how to mix it, half, put half of the yogurt in a, in a pot and do half of it in a plate. Just mix it with a fork, very easy really, put a bit of water in there, hot water, mix it and then put it in a pot and then you add another, or the other half, mix it with the water and then put it and put water about a litre and a half or two litres, however much you think you need it and this is how much I think we need and I might add a bit more water into this and this is my grain flour in a water, I mixed it well with a spoon this is what's going to go in the lassi when I put it in this, in my saucepan. Well, as you can see, they have been dissolved. They melted the tomatoes and I'm going to add my chili and salt, my basar in there. See, a bit of water in there so it doesn't stick to the pan. Okay. I take out the peel because I don't like peel tomato peel in there but don't worry about it even if it's in there once you put lassi in there they all can't come on top so you can just take it out from there here yeah. and just take it out at that point that's it okay now I'm going to add the lassi in there Like this. See? I can add a bit more water as well. So I am going to add my green flour syrup I made. So. Okay, and I have to stir this until it starts boiling. Once it starts boiling, I'm going to put it in a very low heat, on a very low flame, so it gets cooked. It might take an hour or maybe longer, and then it'll be perfectly fine. I will show you at the end, once it's done. Yeah, here guys, it's boiling. Once it starts boiling, put it on a very low flame, so let it get cooked for at least an hour. Uh, make sure, once it's before it boils, you make sure keep stirring. Never leave the curry just like this. Otherwise, it will go all lumpy. So you just keep stirring until it starts boiling. Don't leave the curry and then put it in a low flame. Then it'll be boiling for at least an hour. Then we'll show you the end result. Right, the curry is done. As you can see the thickness of it and I've added the green chili and coriander. I'm going to turn off the heat, turn off the gas and now I'm going to add, uh, sorry, I'm going to make pakoras and then I'm going to add them in there as well. So I've made this on someone's request and I hope they watch and they cook. And please once you cook and you try it at home, do make comments and share and like and subscribe so guys this is my final dish curry pakora and boiled rice you can have it with roti or naan whatever you prefer but i quite like it with boiled rice or roti anyway but i hope you like this please try at home and give me comments how they are did you try it and please like and share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thank you